Hello drone friends, this is Alan at UAV Coach and Drone Pilot Ground School. Welcome to our Drone Weekly News Roundup. All right, this week we're going to cover a new drone that works in both the air and the sea. Then we're going to show you a video from Autel showcasing their new Nest system for the Evo drone. And finally, I know many of you have been getting hit with snow, us included. So we're going to show you a roundup of our top drone videos of snowy destinations to hopefully spark some inspiration for those wintry shots. All right, let's jump in. A new drone made in Japan can operate both in the air and underwater. The Sea Air Integrated Drone is the creation of a big collaboration between commercial drone company ProDrone, Japanese telecom company KDDI, and underwater robotics company QYC. Okay, so here's how it works. You actually have two different systems here, a multi-rotor drone that can land on water, and then it opens this quick release cage to deploy the underwater uh, drone. So two different drones. The goal with this unmanned aerial and aquatic system is to modernize offshore and marine operations, basically using less people and more robots when it comes to time-consuming and potentially dangerous marine work. This new workflow would avoid the need for workers having to use boats to drive out to offshore platforms and make multiple dives for their inspection. Ultimately, workers would be able to deliver underwater inspections with real-time visual feedback without having to leave their onshore location. Pretty, pretty cool. Next up, let's talk about drone nests. What the heck is a drone nest? Well, imagine a weatherproof charging station where your drone is stored and where it can take off, run a fully autonomous mission, and then land right back in the box. In this video, we're looking at Autel unveils a new Nest system for their Evo drone, which comes with a retractable canopy, a glass fiber charging board, built-in air conditioning system. Autel sees this new autonomous charging station being used for industrial applications like security patrol, power line inspection, traffic control, site monitoring, forestry inspection, and agricultural monitoring. I spoke with one of our flight instructors this week, and he's actually conducting a hands-on session with a penitentiary in Memphis this month. And they're looking for a hands-off, fully autonomous perimeter sweep solution, just like what Autel is showing us here. But unfortunately, the existing regulatory framework, at least here in the U.S., would make it really hard to comply when using a system like this. Uh, but we're going to get there eventually, and I love continuing to see innovation like this. Okay, lastly, forget about all the icy roads and shoveling and cold temperatures. And if you're a parent like me, the school closures. Uh, doesn't snow just look absolutely beautiful, particularly from the air? Check out these gorgeous wintry drone videos from the dramatic craggy mountains and waterfalls of Iceland to the rolling snow-swept hills of Vermont to the misty peaks of the Italian Alps. This is just some stunning footage and the kind of eye candy we can get behind. Do you live in a snowy area? Let us know in the comments below if you've been able to get your drone up into the air. Here in Nashville, Tennessee, it doesn't snow too often, uh, so I was pretty excited to practice some shots with my Mavic 3 uh, before it all melted away. All right, folks, that's all we have for this week. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel to stay up to date on the latest drone news. Remember to check out the links below to read more. Thanks for watching, and to all of you drone pilots out there, blue skies and safe flying.